Hello, my honey friends. Now we're going to watch a comedy drama film called White as Snow from 2019. At the beginning of the movie, we are told about a girl named Claire. After the death of her father, who owned a hotel business, Claire is left with her stepmother, who inherited the entire business. The girl goes for a run in the morning and suddenly falls into the hands of a kidnapper. The criminal pushes the girl into the trunk and quickly flees the scene. Driving along a forest road, the kidnapper tries to drive around a wild boar that suddenly jumps out onto the road, but something goes wrong and he crashes into a tree. Thanks to this, Claire manages to get out of the trunk. The girl runs through the forest, but at some point she doesn't realize where to go next. Claire stops and her captor catches up with her. Pointing a gun at the girl, the kidnapper asks Claire to close her eyes. A shot is then fired. Claire wakes up in an unfamiliar house. A man enters the room with breakfast. According to Pierre, he was going to go out into the woods to hunt wild boars, but instead he had to kill the woman who kidnapped Claire. He believes that Claire must have done something wrong because no one would attempt to kill her without a serious reason. The girl suggests calling the police, but Pierre is against it. He has no desire to go to jail again. After leaving the room, Pierre returns with the girl's clothes. While the girl was unconscious, Pierre undressed her and washed her clothes. After getting dressed, Claire looks around the house. Suddenly, she meets another man. He is a cellist named Vincent. Claire starts listening to the music the cellist is playing, and she falls asleep. But she is woken up by Francois, Pierre's twin brother. The only difference between them is that Francois stutters a lot, unlike his brother. Pierre asks the girl to leave the house because those who are going to kill her will most likely be looking for Claire. And sooner or later, the criminals will get to this house and the boy has no desire to meet them. The girl tries to persuade Pierre to let her stay here because then there was no point in saving her. Pierre also realizes that this is illogical, but then he yells at Claire. For such ugly behavior, the girl attacks him. Pierre grabs her, but then lets her go. When he comes back, he kisses girl, and Claire doesn't mind at all. In the morning, Claire leaves the house and meets Vincent and his dog. Meanwhile, the twins are at the sawmill, and the girl does not want to be alone in the house. That is why she asks the cellist to let her go with him to the vet. On the way back, Vincent suggests that they stop at a cafe. There, Claire tells him that she was fond of the violin as a child, but after the accident in which her mother died, she stopped playing music. When they returned home, Vincent gave the girl a violin. He sincerely believes that one should never stop practicing music. At this moment, Pierre appears. He is unhappy that Claire went away with Vincent because now the whole town knows that a girl lives in their house. This means that she has a good chance of being found by criminals. In the morning, Claire looks out the window of her room and sees Pierre chopping wood. Approaching her, Pierre begins to kiss the girl and then they make love. Late at night, lying in her bed, Claire hears the sound of the TV. She goes downstairs and sits on the couch next to Pierre, starting to stroke his leg with her foot. After she does this, he begins to stutter and says that he is very thirsty. This makes Claire realize that it was not Pierre at all, but his twin brother, Francois. He realizes that he shouldn't have done it, but he just couldn't help himself. This makes the girl smile. The next day, not wanting to sit around, Claire gets a job at a local cafe. She returns home and tries to call her stepmother, but as soon as she says her name, the other end immediately hangs up. Later, the movie takes us back a week to these events. Claire's stepmother, Maude, is watching from the window as her lover, Bernard, helps her pick up a towel that Claire has dropped. When the man comes up to Maude's room, the woman suggests that they no longer hide from others because her husband is no longer alive, but they need to take a break from their relationship because their feelings have faded a bit and she doesn't want things to get worse. Bernard agrees. After Maude leaves, the guy calls Claire and confesses his love to her. Maude hears this and hides in the next room. Not wanting to stand for it, the woman makes a deal with the criminal to eliminate Claire. After a while, the couple has lunch in a restaurant. Bernard wonders where Claire has disappeared to because he hasn't seen her for several days. Maude reassures him and explains that this is not the first time she has gone missing. The girl has gone missing for several days before. At this point, the woman receives a call on her phone. It's Claire. Maude immediately turns off the phone. In the cafe where Claire got a job, all the visitors pay attention to the girl. A local librarian named Charles even brought his son Clement to meet the girl, and the veterinarian Sam himself is not far behind, giving Claire signs of attention. He invites the girl to go to a club in the evening where another guy starts hitting on Claire. Sam cannot stand up for the girl, but Clement does. On the way home, Claire says that she thought Sam was strong, but he turned out to be vulnerable, but she even likes it. 
On the side of the road, a veterinarian stops the car and asks the girl to repeat these words again. Claire says that she likes Sam and touches his hand, then sits on top of him. In the morning, Maud arrives in town. Noticing Claire, she enters the library where she meets Charles. He admires the woman's beauty, saying that she is the second angel in their town this week. Charles advises Maud to look into the church as there are guest rooms where she can stay for a while. After meeting with the pastor, Maud tells him about Claire who disappeared a few days ago. After learning her name, the pastor tells her that he knows the girl. Maud asks him not to say anything to anyone, otherwise Claire will run away again. According to the woman, the girl is angry with her because Maud did not pay enough attention to her after her father's death. The pastor offers to mediate and arrange a truce between the girl and her stepmother. In the morning, while jogging, Claire is joined by Clement. The girl likes the guy, and in general, she gets the feeling that there are no men in this town that she doesn't like. Clement is very shy, but he tries to hug the girl, but suddenly falls to the ground. Getting up, Clement runs away. Claire goes to the church, where she tells the pastor about her relationship with several men. The pastor informs her that there is a man in the church who wants to make peace with Claire. He takes the girl to see Maud. When Claire sees her stepmother, she throws herself into her arms. According to Maud, she managed to find the girl because Claire called her, but the connection was suddenly cut off. The phone number was used to find out where the call came from. After telling her stepmother the details of that day, Claire expresses a desire to stay in the city because she has made many new friends here. Maud doesn't mind. She will also stay here for a few days. The girl has to go to work and Maud offers to give her a ride to the town. On the way, Maud suddenly stops at the edge of a cliff and pretends that the car has a broken tire. Her stepmother asks Claire to take a look at the problem. Sneaking up on the girl, Maud is about to throw her off the cliff, but at that moment, a pastor on a motorcycle approaches them. Since the plan has been foiled by an unnecessary witness, Maud takes Claire to the town, offering to meet up next weekend. Unsuspecting, Claire agrees. In a cafe, Charles approaches the girl. He says that his son Clement has shut him out. Clement is angry and does not want to talk to him. Charles asks Claire to come to their house and talk to the boy so that he stops behaving like this towards his father. After work, Claire visits Clement and tells him that she loves him. After that, she kisses him. Going down to the library, she tells Charles that she managed to talk to his son. Sunday comes. Claire and her stepmother go on a picnic. Maud hands her an apple with poison in it. As soon as Claire is about to take a bite, Clement suddenly appears in the meadow. The girl invites him to join them and hands him the apple. Maud grabs the fruit and says that she doesn't know this guy at all. Clement apologizes and walks away, while Claire puts the apple down and follows the boy. I think you can all guess what she does with him in the forest in the rain. As night falls, Maud arrives in the town where the dance is taking place. Watching Claire dance with one man and then another, her stepmother orders two glasses of wine. She adds a potion to one of them, but even here she fails. Clement stands in her way and accidentally knocks one of the glasses out of Maud's hands. This plan doesn't work, so Maud brings a drink for Claire. Then she starts to pull her around so that Claire feels sick. After that, she puts her in a car and pretends to drive her home. Driving along a winding mountain road, Maud confesses that she has been in love only once in her life, but even that love was stolen from her by Claire. After the confession, Maud opens the door and pushes the girl out of the car. Stopping, Maud approaches the edge of a cliff. After making sure that Claire is not moving, Maud drives away. The stepmother stops by the church to light a candle, but accidentally sets herself on fire. Claire manages to survive. She lies in a hospital bed and next to her are seven men who love her. Each of them approaches the girl in turn and kisses her, after which Claire regains consciousness.